I see that the internet is angry about this new Unreal Engine 5 games that are coming to the consoles and they are locked to 30 frames. Unreal Engine 5 is very demanding and even on the PC is difficult to go beyond 60. On this video I'm gonna show you three examples of games that are difficult to run and I use this LG C1 motion interpolation and black frame insertion. So I am very excited to talk about this because this LG C1 is basically allowing me to take out of the hands of the developers my gaming experience. So basically I don't care if they have a good or bad HDR, I have an option to get great HDR. I don't care if the game is too demanding to run, I can get 120 motion clarity no matter what. I can even get 240 motion clarity. So of course on a high-end gaming PC this is going to work a lot better because I have ways to mitigate any input latency implications or even some brightness implications with use by using uh, Motion Pro. But if you have a gaming console this is still an amazing uh, feature that you should definitely try uh, Motion Pro. I show you on a video before uh, Digital Foundry, uh, Alex and I forgot the name of the uh, the other. They have they both have um, LG OLEDs. One of them has an LG CX, and the other has an LG C1. And they were saying uh, one of the, one of them I forgot his name was saying I use black from insertion all the time on my PS5, all the time. <laughs> so it is just amazing for the console because. If you can get 60 frames per second on any game, so those games that are locked to 60, you can double the motion clarity, double, twice as good. So basically, it's just like having a high-end gaming PC. I am using it on the PC right now. Cyberpunk is running at 60 frames per second. I am using Motion Pro High, and this looks absolutely amazing. And the responsiveness is amazing too because... I am getting, so let me explain you how I improve the responsiveness and let me explain you on the console uh, what happens when you have to turn off this auto low latency modes and all of that. So basically I am using here settings that are low enough, so settings that are not demanding enough so my GPU don't go over 80% of utilization. Okay. So right now my GPU is at 65% and that's why it feels so responsive. Look at this. This is extremely responsive. This is more responsive than if I don't use black frame insertion and play at 60. And for example, if I use G-Sync, if I hope you can see this responsiveness here. If I use G-Sync and I am getting like 70, 80 frames uh, but the GPU is at 100%, it is not going to feel more responsive than this. Even if I use NVIDIA ultra low latency mode, it doesn't matter because having the GPU below 80% is going to give you much more responsiveness, okay? So right now I'm playing the game with a combination of high and ultra settings without ray tracing and this is 4K DLSS. So I have a 3080, 12 gigabytes, so it is... Uh, very, it is easy to run uh, in this mode. So it feel it feels responsive and it looks like 120 frames. I am not a big fan of this game, but after trying many many settings on HDR, many different resolutions to get like 100 frames, this is the way I prefer to enjoy the game. It is just absolutely amazing. I was playing it yesterday a lot. And I, I, I was not a big fan of this game, but I was really enjoying it uh, in this way. So what I'm using is the, the SDR, HDR trick uh, that I share with you. So I can get enough brightness to use HGIG and I can use this Motion Pro High, this black frame insertion. So, okay, 60 frames on a high-end gaming PC. Your GPU is powerful enough so you can get that responsiveness. What about the console at 60 frames? These games are locked to 60 on the consoles. If the game 
if, if, the, if for example, if the game has an unlocked frame uh, option, these games that uh, you can unlock the frame rate and they give you like 80, 70, 80 frames, those games are perfect because to use Black Frame Insertion Motion Pro, you have to turn off Auto Low Latency Mode, okay? So that Auto Low Latency Mode kicks in and works when you're when the system, when the console is like at 100%, very close to 100% of utilization, okay? So if the game is locked to 60, that is not that's not the case unless the game has dynamic resolution scaling when the game is locked to 60 the console is not max out it's not hundred percent so the input lag implications by turning off auto low latency mode on the console is gonna be none it's not gonna even matter because the GPU of the console you know, I mean the, the console doesn't have a GPU it has a, a single uh, all-in-one chip CPU and GPU together so that chip it's not even close to 100%, so it doesn't matter that you have to turn off auto low latency mode, so the latency is going to be the same as not using black frame insertion at all. So definitely try it for 60 frames. So now, what about this 30 frames per second games? Uh, what can you do? You can use motion interpolation, and I'm gonna show you the settings. So, for example, we have this uh, matrix demo okay so this matrix demo is basically unreal engine 5 and it's extreme extremely demanding so i have to modify the file for the matrix demo because i remember last time i was playing it the resolution was uh, i was using uh the i was using the uh nvidia image scaling to get the better uh, motion you know to get a better performance so let me show you let's see if I remember where the where the config file is okay let me show you yeah you I do these games I do these videos one try let me see okay here it is okay so what I need to do is just change the the settings here for a moment. 3840 by 2160. Okay. Because you know this is a demo. This is not this is not a game, the Unreal Engine demo. So what I have to do is I have to force 30 frames on the Nvidia control panel. And then I'm going to use console mode standard mode so i can use motion interpolation so let me show you on the tv what you have to do for this 30 frames per second games on the console like this new playtale requiem that just came out today you have to do is you have to click here on this button just leave it press go to the three dots and come to your come to your hdmi uh, input the one that you are using in my case I'm using the number one and select game console save that and then you're going to come here to the settings I come here to the settings and you're going to use clarity you come here down to true motion and we're going to use D Jutter. So for 30 frames per second, we're going to use D Jutter 10 Motion Pro Medium. Or if you have a, a G2 or C2 that doesn't have this, uh, you know, 120 frames black from insertion, then just use the the D Jutter option. So you're going to get 120. So the the C2 and G2 have less motion interpolation, so artifacts. So the motion interpolation is better. But the black frame insertion is, uh, it was downgraded, unfortunately. So it doesn't support 120 frames black frame insertion. But if you have a, a C1, you can use Motion Pro Medium and D Jutter 10. If you have D Jutter and D Blur on 10, it doesn't matter. Uh, at 30 frames, the only thing that's going to work is the D Jutter. So D Blur doesn't matter if you have it on 0 or 10. It's not going to make any difference. And the other thing that I do here to, to get a more stable... Uh, frame rate 
is I use a uh, rivet turner. I use rivet turner here and I lock the frame to 30. Okay, so this demo also has a lot of shader compilation stutters, which is uh, it's very bad. And you see this weird artifacts that's from the game that's just the engine compiling shaders and weird things you see that, that this has nothing to do with the motion interpolation yeah i don't even i don't really like a lot how it looks at least on this matrix demo it looks blurry and it has a lot of issues especially on the performance but if 30 frames is all you can get <laughs> use these settings is going to look like 120 if you have a C2 or G2 and if you have a C1 it's going to look like a 240 or a CX this is, or a G1 or GX <laughs> it's going to look like 240 so now the, the input lag is going to be bad <laughs> okay but 30 frames the input lag with 30 frames is bad anyway that's what you need to understand just try it oh bro the input lag is too bad okay don't use it <laughs> don't use it I, I cannot play at 30 no I, it's just it's just no but I can definitely play like this why because it looks it looks fluid it doesn't feel fluid but it looks very very amazing so it's just it looks very very fluid just amazing when you move the camera of course this is a stuttering like crazy because this has shader compilation stutters so to get rid of that you need to play it a lot so the GPU compiles the shaders that problem is not on the console so if you have the matrix demo which is locked to 30 you can use these settings and it's gonna be fantastic it's going to be unresponsive but it's gonna be fantastic so how much is the input lag here over 100 milliseconds for sure <laughs> maybe 140 milliseconds something like that 120 I don't know this feels really like 20 frames per second okay but it looks like 240 <laughs> so it is a trade-off it is a trade-off but it is an option so now for example I can also use motion interpolation for 60 frames games like for example I use it for Neo 1 on the PC so Neo 1 on the PC is locked to 60 no matter what doesn't matter uh, there's no mod that you can use to fix that problem so what I do on Neo 1 is I use motion pro high but I also have the option to use this motion interpolation and black from insertion at the same time so for 60 uh, you you are going to use D blur so D blur 10 motion pro medium and the reason why that option works very well for Neo 1 is because the game is not very demanding at 60 frames the GPU my GPU is like 30 40 50 percent uh, so because of that it feels very responsive it doesn't matter like it. so I'm gonna show you actually let me show you the game so that game feels very responsive even um, with motion interpolation so that's the way I play that game and I also play uh, Dark Souls 3 which is locked to 60 there is a mod to remove the the 60 frames per second cap on Dark Souls 3 but the problem is you have to use you cannot use full screen so you have to use borderless and it has some issues so I see that it judders so yeah at the end I said okay just gonna play it at 60 and use uh, either black from insertion or use motion interpolation so I'm using motion interpolation because it's easy to run so all the games are, are easy to run for your system if you have a PC or even on the console if the console is not struggling to run the game at 60 uh, which sometimes is the case sometimes it that's the case because uh, the, the, the frame rate is capped and there's there's no there is no res, uh, dynamic resolution scaling so if the console is like 70 80 percent in those moments the input lag is not going to be very bad it's actually gonna be good so give it a try man give it a try and in that way I have to change the the Riva Turner cap here to 60 
So give it a try because in that way you're basically taking taking your gaming experience out of the developer's hand, which sounds sounds crazy because you know they are the ones delivering the game, but unfortunately they are not giving you what you need. So right now this is Neo. It is 60, but the TV is D Blur 10 Motion Pro Medium, and this looks like 240 frames, and it feels very responsive. Look at this. This feels very, very responsive. Why? Because the GPU is at 30%. <laughs> so th this is nothing for the GPU. That's why it feels so responsive. Look at this. <laughs> it's a very, very responsive. If I attack or move, this feels amazing. So it feels good, and it looks like 240. So when you move the camera, it's like, wow. <laughs> Just amazing. So yeah. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'm gonna post on the on the link on the on the description. I'm gonna post the settings, and the way I figured out all these settings is by using this UFO test. Okay, by using this UFO test, I was able to nail the settings. So no matter what, it doesn't matter if I have 30 frames, 60 frames, or 120 frames. The UFO test looks exactly the same. There are only some minor artifacts. When you are using 30, uh, you see some minor artifacts. And on the game, if you, if you move the camera too fast, you might see some artifacts. But 30 frames is terrible anyway. <laughs> so you have no option. In my opinion, like if I have a console, I have to play at 30, I'm going to use these settings. And the input lag is, is going to be bad, but at least it's going to look good. If you want to play the game and that's what you have, take advantage of your OLED TV, man. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and, yeah, I can, I can definitely help you if you still have questions.